Like if I'm listening to a song at this point, right? And I use that method, like within 15 seconds, I can generally figure out, if, and oftentimes less, right? What key I'm in at least. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing one of those talking videos I was talking about doing. I do have a guitar in my hands, but I'm not really going to use it that much. It's just like here for me to hold so that I feel comfortable. Okay, so what are we talking about today? Today, we're talking about a question that a lot of people ask me. How do I play over these random songs, right? How do I figure out how to write solos over these random songs, right? And there's two elements to that. So the two elements are one, knowing what notes fit, okay? So knowing what notes you can actually play over the song that you found. And two, knowing how to make interesting combinations of those notes that you know work. In essence, how do I write an interesting solo now that I know what notes will sound good? So today we're just gonna talk about the first part, which is how do I know what notes I can play, right? Uh, and there's a couple prerequisites to this, okay? So you have to have, in order to even do this at all, you have to have trained your ear to know if you play a note over something, if it sounds good or bad, right? If it fits or not. When I first started playing guitar, because I know a lot of you guys are beginners, a lot of you guys are self-taught as I am. Uh, when, you first, when I first started, I couldn't even, like if I had to tune my guitar to somebody else's guitar, I couldn't tell if the pitches matched. Okay, I didn't know what was going on. I had no clue. So you have to play enough to be able to recognize when something fits and when it doesn't fit, okay? The second thing is that you have to know your scales, okay? And like your chord, you know, whatever. If you're trying to figure out chords, you gotta know your chords. What a major chord sounds like, what a minor chord sounds like. If you wanna do scales, you gotta know what a major scale sounds like, what a minor scale sounds like. And you need to know how to play them. So you have to practice your scales on the guitar, okay? And this is why it's important, okay? So we're gonna get to the actual method that I use. So this might not be the best way, but this is the way that I use. I'll listen to the song, right? And then I'll just start trying to find a note that fits. So I'll just like physically like play my guitar while listening to the song and find a note that fits, right? Then once I find a note that fits, and again, the longer you've been playing and the more you know your scales and things, this will happen quicker for you. Then you find another note that you think will fix it, right? And you try that. And then next thing you know, you'll have maybe like two, three, four notes that you know fit, right? From there, you can look at that combination of notes and think to yourself, okay, with this combination of notes, right? What scale does that belong to? What key does that belong to? Now, you can't do that if you don't know, okay, your scales and you don't know your notes, right? Like you're, you're just not going to know how to do that. Okay, you can try playing everything by ear and like work out. I know a lot of people are really good like that, but it's a lot easier and a lot more uh, direct if you just know your theory, right? Um, so in order to get to the point where you can use my method, which is uh, just playing some notes. Okay, step one, just play some notes, see what works, what doesn't work. Step two, go backwards and see, okay, well, what scale does that fit into? Or this combination of notes, what chord does that make, right? And then from there we can say, okay, now I know that the song fits in this scale, it fits in this key, okay, so it's G major, so everything in G major will work. Now, as you get more advanced, you can start playing over specific chords in the song, but we're not gonna talk about that today. So, the last thing I'm gonna touch on, right, is, so how do I get to the point, right, where I can actually do that. Now you know the method, okay? You play some notes, work backwards to figure out what scale it comes from, and then you figure out the key, right? And then you know all the notes that you can play that will just work, right? And of course, from there, you can start venturing outside and doing different things. Um, so how do you get to that point? You simply have to practice your scales a lot, right? There's like no way around it. And it's a good idea to learn your notes early on in your guitar learning journey because it's a lot, it's very frustrating to have to go backwards and like relearn them, especially when you kind of got some chops in their fingers. So um, yeah, how are we gonna go about 
learning these scales? Well, you simply just have to find a method that works for you. You know, there's a cage method, three notes for string, whatever. I'm not going to tell you which one to pick or which one is best because I honestly don't know. Um, but you find whichever one and you practice them, right? You practice them till you have them memorized under your fingers, right? So that when you start picking that combination of notes that works, you're already like, you can already recognize what scale shape it's from. And then you figure out the key. Like if I'm listening to a song at this point, right? And I use that method, like within 15 seconds, I can generally figure out if, and oftentimes less, right? What key I'm in at least. It takes me a little bit longer to figure out all the chords because that's something that I need to work on. Okay, your musical journey is never done. Always be trying to learn, no matter if like people think you're cool or not, you know. This isn't about well, I mean, maybe it is about looking cool for you, but you know, it's you gotta try and learn as much as possible. So always be thinking about practicing those fundamentals because it's those fundamentals that allow you to do the things that you know I'm doing in these videos and the things that you want to do either with writing your own music or just playing other people's music or just playing simple songs right to impress your friends whatever your goal is there's some fundamental that you can work on to make that go even faster so again that's how I do this okay I don't know how I'm gonna edit this in a way that it makes sense but thank you very much for watching uh, you know if you like some of my videos if you don't know what I'm talking about with what I do on this channel I'll put something on the end screen which is probably going on right now if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up uh, yeah and just thanks for watching okay subscribe tell your friends okay